Hi, it's me coming to you with uh, college content. Even though uh, I despise being a college student right now, I'm deeply, deeply disappointed with my own university and I am doing anything, anything to get out. And that means graduating a whole semester early by taking two summer classes that I desperately did not want to take. But I took anyway and kind of had a fun time and realized that, huh, this local community college seems to be a whole lot better and a whole lot more responsible than my big ass state school. Coming at you, Temple University. All right. Hi Temple, that was not a personal attack, but if you took it as one, then it was. Okay, fun fact. The first video of mine to get a lot of views was my what's in my backpack video from last year. I was bright eyed, bushy tailed, I was an RA. No longer an RA. So excited for the school year. Uh, come to find out that it was the worst school year of my life. A lot has changed. A lot of transformative growth has happened since then. The bangs are not here anymore. I know a lot of you miss them. Just wait on it. Wait until I have to write like a 20 page essay and then I stay up super late and then I'll probably have bangs again. So hold on. The semester just started. Like, please give me a minute. This is my backpack from last year. It says, uh, Nicole, resident assistant at Temple University. It has a lot of cool pins on it. I will give it that. But other than that, it's trash. We hate her. It's not true. I paid a lot of money for that backpack because they didn't even provide me with it. So I quit my RA position many, many moons ago. I still shouldn't be pissed about it all because it literally was over half a year ago. But so because I quit, I obviously cannot rock that backpack anymore. Duh. Um, so I got a much better new bag that I cannot wait to show you. But first, make sure that you subscribe if you want to be nasty. And if not, you're disgusting. Uh, also, make sure to have your bell notifications on so that you know every single time I post or else you are gross. This is my new bag. Yeah, this was definitely previously owned by a woman who is probably now dead. I'm just being ser serious. Uh, thrifted this and it is uh, very washed. I washed it very, very well. I would not be surprised if some old man's ashes were at the bottom of this from his urn, uh, but not anymore because I obviously washed it. It's everything I could ever want and more. Look at that guy. He's just like looking right into you. Like he knows all my sins and I know all of his and we're just gonna, we're gonna keep them to ourselves. But this is my ideal backpack. Here's the kicker. I don't need a backpack or a bag because I'm not in school. If you didn't know, I'm taking all of my classes online because Temple University is, it's gonna get shut down. I would not be surprised if a week after this video is posted, Temple University is shut down. Let's hold a bet. I'm not saying I'm psychic, but I, I'm, I'm saying that your school is gonna get shut down and that's that. Notice how I said your school instead of my school? We don't claim her anymore. She's irresponsible. I, I don't know her. So even though I'm not physically in school, I, I could use a bag. You know what I mean? Like what if I want to endeavor somewhere and, and do my classwork in the car or outside or I'm not going to do, I'm never ever going to do that. But this is what would be in my backpack if I were at school still. And also like if I put the stuff that I use now, like currently and just shoved it all into one bag with cats all over it. That's what this bag would be. I'm going to pose for a thumbnail really quick. So don't judge me. Let's go. Okay, so I don't really have like a set order of this, but if I just like reach in and pick something out, oh my god, look at that, it's Excedrin because I constantly have migraines, not to mention me staring at my screen all day. Yeah, that's definitely gonna give me a migraine. Who the hell invented night classes? Two and a half hours, really, really, at night. I'm still gonna take the night class. This and night classes go hand in hand. Just kidding, my professor is a very lovely lady. If you are watching this video, I adore you. I actually started learning how to speak to my professors this year. Like I actually speak to them, which is so funny because it's on Zoom now. Like why do I suddenly have the confidence to talk and connect and network with all my professors now, now that I'm literally leaving in a few months? Anyway, let's see. Okay, we have the basic stuff like, okay, glasses, for example. These are my blue light glasses. They are definitely dirty. Wow, no glare. These are very anti-glare as you can tell. Not me not using professional ring lights or anything for my videos and instead using a video on YouTube called a very rare white screen for 10 hours on my laptop instead. Not me. Essential. Small little glass bowl because glass is a bit more sustainable than plastic. I like to use this on Zoom, especially if I don't have access to tissues or if I don't have access to, you know, just get up and leave. I like to pull this out and so then I could cry like individual tears into this. I feel like it's just like a little bit more sustainable that way. Speaking of water bottles, I think that would be in my bag. Let's pretend like I'm pulling it out of my bag. Oh my God, look at that, I'm pulling it out of my bag. Very fun story about this cup. My mom was in the hospital and I went to the gift shop and I saw this cup and I sent a picture to my boyfriend. I said, I would love this cup. 
and then he bought it for me and sent it to my house. So that really cheered up the mood with my mom being in the hospital, but she's fine now. And I'm even better. I got a cup out of it, so. Okay, next on the actually academic, uh, a book. It's called You Don't Have to Like Me. That's a flower. Uh, it's a book about feminism, and I got it for my birthday last year, which is so funny because my birthday is in like a week and a half, and I did not read this, but I will start reading it now because it's in my bag, so it'll be everywhere I go, duh, because I'm gonna take my bag to all these places that I go, right? Okay, I have coupons <laughs> to Airy, an American Eagle, so when I online shop um, during my Zoom classes, I can get $40 off of $150, sweet. Haven't worn a bra since March? We got you, okay, you don't have to attack me like that. This is also not an ad for Aries, so. Okay, next up in the bag, I have hand cream. My hands need to stay nice and moisturized so that when I talk with my hands in the Zoom call, everyone can look at my hands and be like, oh my God, her hands are so moisturized. And I'm gonna be like, oh my God, I know. That's what that's for. Next I have AirPods, which is kind of pointless because I don't think that they really work. Apparently they're always glitching. Like I can hear perfectly fine, but they can't hear me. So this is perfect. I can wear these. And then when the professor asks me a question, I could just be like, and then it's not my fault because it's, it's, it's their fault. Anyway, I really, really like AirPods and I got them a nice little AirPod case condom type thing to protect it. I don't know why they need to be protected. They're in a case anyway. So it's like a case for my case for the thing that's in the case anyway. Okay, this is the most realistic thing in my backpack. Okay, it's a banana that has been sitting in here for too long, okay? Yeah, yeah. If you have ever left a banana inside of your bag, then you know the problems that arise. First of all, the smell, it's not good and this is coming from a vegan. Second of all, have you ever squished a banana inside your backpack? It's the worst. I've done it more times than I can count. I can't tell you how many times I would have to sit in my chemistry class in high school and clean out smushed banana from the bottom of my backpack, that, but the banana was sitting in there for like a week. That is one of the reasons why my chemistry teacher hated me with a burning passion. Secondly being because I couldn't pass a single one of his tests and I made him look like a really bad teacher. I can't comprehend anything STEM. My brain doesn't work like that. Math, I don't believe in her. Okay, in here I have an inhaler. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Nicole, where are the rhinestones? Hold on, hold on, relax. It's my bedazzled inhaler, okay? I know it's really heartbreaking, but I don't need to use this inhaler much anymore. I used to have really, 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 really terrible asthma. Every single time I would lay down, I would start wheezing terribly for a long few months, okay? I told my doctor and she's like, no, Nicole, you don't have a problem with your asthma. You just have acid reflux because you have anxiety and you you have issues. And I was like, oh shit, you're right. And then she put me on antidepressants and then the antidepressants were like amazing because they made my anxiety completely go away. But then I literally could not wake up in the morning, like at all, like my days did not start until 2 p.m. It was quite literally terrible. So now I'm kind of rocking through life raw. It's kind of fun. Now I need something new for my issues and that's Tums because now um, the acid reflux is back, baby, back and better than ever. I ate like seven of these. Okay, we have poopery. You don't know what poopery is. You spray this in the toilet right before you go. It's really great. I wouldn't know. I've never used it before. I'm just carrying this just in case, but the chances of me using this at home are slim to none. If I'm dropping one in this household, everyone needs to smell it. I've never said something so vile on the internet. I didn't mean to do that. I have a mask. I do have one of these cloth masks. These are like my favorite ones right now. Not spawns, but I really do enjoy them. They're very soft and it smells like banana because there was a banana inside of my bag. They're so cute. Look at me. Am I not the cutest? This is also your little friendly reminder that's not so friendly because it's just cold hard facts. Uh, wear your mask or you're an asshole. Not wearing a mask is not a political statement. It's just a, I, I'm an asshole statement. If I see any of you not wearing a mask out in public or wearing a mask the wrong way, not covering your nose as well, I, I will be telling God on you. And I have a very close connection to him. My step uncle is a priest and he's met the Pope before, so. What's next? I have my switch just in case I need to place some Animal Crossing while on Zoom. If my professors are watching this, that has never happened. I have never, ever built a whole orchard while in a Zoom class. By the way, I have all the fruits now. I'm not sharing. Oh my God, I love these. I don't even think that this is very hygienic. It's a tiny little brush that you can just stick in the back of your mouth and then just like scrub your teeth with like, 
I was at the gynecologist last week. And so she told me, she's like, oh my God, you're turning 21 next month. Happy birthday. Want to celebrate with a pap smear? I was like, Oh, yeah, let's celebrate with a pap smear. So she took like one of these little things, except it wasn't this one. It was like a professional one. It was like a little tiny mascara brush, a little spoolie, and then just right up and uh, took took my took. I've never had such a good birthday gift before, but it, it hurt. Okay, in here I have a spare change of clothes because you never know when you might shit yourself. You never know when you might piss yourself, and you never know when you might need to run away from home. Additionally, I have in here my wallet just in case I need to be making any online purchases on the internet, you know, buying those Tesla stocks and making my financial advising class professor so proud. I have not invested into stocks. I still don't understand them. I know we went over it for an entire semester. I have no idea what you were talking about. I also like to keep a handheld mirror inside my bag just because like if my professor can't look me in the face, and disappointment right in the eyes, at least I can, so. Oh, very exciting. Gum, oh shit. Lip balm, yes, essential. A condom from my friend when she went to Rome. Okay, this is my favorite hand sanitizer in the entire world, I got this in middle school. And I like to sniff these at least like a few times a day just to make sure that I don't have COVID and I still have my sense of smell. Yep, still got it. Uh, um, it is honey pretzel scented. It actually smells like honey pretzel. It's kind of scary. Oh, also a little rewards card for the grocery store by my apartment that I'm not gonna be living in and will probably never shop at again. Pepper spray. I had like five of these. This is my only one left. I don't know where all of them went. I never had the need to use them, so I don't know where they went. This, look, it's a little duck clip. He makes me feel so safe. Now is the time to feel safe and he makes me feel so safe. So I like to keep him in my bag. And last but not least is my iPad, which I like to do all my notes on. I like to doodle. I like to do a whole bunch of stuff on here. But then when you unlock it and, oh, what is this? Is this the active COVID-19 cases on Temple University's campus right now that you absolutely cannot see because it's overexposed? What? It's 25 already and it's the third day of school. <gasps> no, I'm shocked. Oh my God, imagine all the people that could have been kept safe if universities didn't open because they were greedy for money. But a university caring about its students and the surrounding community? <gasps> Never. This concludes today's what's in my backpack video. 2020 to 2021. No, no, just 2020 to 2020 because after December 2020, I will never be a student again. I had a lot of fun making this video. I love showing you what is in my backpack, what would be in my backpack, and what will probably remain in my backpack from here on out. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you did, you can leave it a like because it helps me out so much. You can also comment down below anything that I may have missed. Uh, did I miss something in my back? What is something that I could have used in my backpack? I am looking for suggestions. I will be adding more to my backpack. So just let me know. And of course, make sure that you subscribe if you want to be nasty. And if not, you're disgusting. Also make sure I have your bell notifications on so that you know every single time I post or else you are gross. I am gonna go now. I have a very busy night ahead of me. I have so much school work to do. Um, so I just, I, I should go. So thank you so much again for watching. Uh, love ya. Good night. Yeah.